tapes. A couple of final things on the list. One is to clean the window. Put the TV up. It just missed me doing a really crappy job of paint. Let's do something I can actually do.
So the window's painted now, two coats of black just around the edge. Looks kind of cool. And then I'm going to mop the floor because I want to get the carpets down this weekend. Get the show on the road. Set up the rooms. And the last touches whenever I can, but I can move around and stuff.
get in there. Okay, get the fingers in here. Okay, so the back wall is cut. Three pieces are adhered. Uh, this piece and two halves I'll glue later and then uh, tuck tape the seams and then I've got a bunch of spare pieces from the edges uh, I may do around the TV or just try to figure out maybe the bottom of the wall here I'll do as much as I can at some point I'll get another couple of pieces I guess and maybe try to do that whole wall as well but uh, yeah I'll do them at a later date I've got a jam coming this weekend the drums are set except for the crash the cymbals set them up I gotta wire up my PA but I don't need that for the jam but that's something to do figure out where to put that light and uh, you know final placement of carpets I got these two here my wonderful big uh, area rug for my Aunt Helen uh, which is so appreciated it actually fits this set pretty much perfectly and so yeah that's cool very good. Placing myself there in that corner. And then the guys can all, whoever's over, basically go wherever they want. And they can always be on a carpet. So, uh, and I cleaned my mirrors yesterday. I don't really want to get me in with my kiss pajamas. They're all nice and shiny. They were full of crud and grease. And, not grease, but just uh, smudges. So they're cleaned up. I uh, got the uh, door framing going goes up to the top and over I just have to kind of uh, I gotta raise it a little bit even it out a bit more up there level it up top got the other piece on this side in and I gotta do the top piece there so I did buy one other length so I'm gonna do this top here and just to end it at this end of the wall um, I don't think I'll bring it up in the corner there but uh, yeah so just a piece up there piece up there and I'm done and I'll have spares. I got some pieces down there that I'm gonna finagle up in here somehow. I think I can do it. Cover up that eye beam and I may end up with another little cool crevice like this one which for the moment I'm just gonna have a little cool blue light up in there. That's kind of neat eh? Just sits up in there. So I'll maybe do the same over on the other side. And yesterday after work what did I do? Oh yeah uh, it's not finished but uh, let me get the controls here so I have the one pot light with the LED LCD LED LED colors there that's going to be in the corner here in the wall I think behind the drums and I've got I don't know if this is plugged in or not oh yeah I got a uh, long strip here that I've stuffed underneath the bottom and then when these things are glued in I'll push that underneath the bottom it'll go almost to the end so that's kind of a cool effect uh, I got two up lights for the corners here they're not plugged in right now but I'll show you them later and then there's the other one and I was going to try to get I have I think another set of um, these lights I'll see if I can get them underneath the, uh, ledge here. Oh yeah, and then the other thing I did with the other set was there we go. Put them in the movie room. So when uh, I watch movies, I have them out there. It goes around. This is the whole length of this wall here. I do be in there. I can't necessarily see it all, but yeah. it will just give the room a light, nice, <coughs> slight effect. Oh yeah, and then it kind of comes through down the bottom there. So when you're watching movies, you got kind of a cool light in the background that I can change if I want the different colors. Not even sure. I got the remote in the dark so I don't know what I've got here. Anyhow. Set it to red. It's a bit intense. Maybe green. 
green. I like the blue. That's a darker green that it's showing up on the camera. I'm gonna stick with the blue. Anyways, that's that. But nevertheless, the room is getting there. Man, the ceiling's done. I'm redoing the lights. Yeah, get the lights back on here so I can show you. Uh, sometimes I ramble on. So the other ones I had done were temporary when the ceiling was gone and I had just screwed in and used some standard uh, light uh, sockets. But uh, I've got these guys here, another pair. LEDs uh, like the ones I've got up. I got two of them up here, one there, one over there. So I got two more. Actually, I'm going to replace these two old pot lights with these guys as well. <coughs> but I'm going to rem I'll remove the tiles at some point and rewire up these lights. Cut the holes a bit bigger so they fit instead of this thing, which you probably can't see because the light's on, but it's, uh, it's just a screw in bulb. And they just come down below. The other pair fit because the ceiling's lower, but here the ceiling's up. I want to do as high as possible, give us room. So it's just got the socket and screws in there, and it's okay, but it's kind of stupid looking. So uh, I'm going to replace them with, with these guys here in another week or so when I've got them on it. It's been non stop, so I'm kind of going to leave it as is for a few minutes. Oh, and uh, because I had nowhere to screw this cover in, the vent. Uh, I tried some of that double-sided tape, they fell out, and now I've got magnets on the two sides and one edge that uh, can touch the actual, the, uh, the galvanized steel or whatever. So it seems to be holding so far. Um, so yeah, that's cool. The paint's looking nice around that window. There's two coats and it came out okay. I didn't want to do the whole thing, so the little parts in the inner, I'm not doing that. It's just kind of neat with the gray. <clears throat> and uh, you know, I got the black from there. Oh, and I got a TV. Some guy dropped it off, 60 bucks, 40 inch Sony Bravia. It's silver, so it's gonna kind of go with the gray. Uh, and I think it's lighter than my big, clunky, uh, sharp, the big old one. Uh, even though it's an LCD as well, but it's heavy. So this one should be lighter. So I'll mount that up here. Probably be banging into it, trying to get into the drum. So I may have to shift these guys over a bit, but uh, yeah. That's ready to go. And when it does go on, this thing can come out and swivel to one side or the other and all that stuff. I don't think I'll pull it out too far. I want the center of balance as far in as you can, but when it's flat, it's like that. That's pretty cool. And I think that'll do fine when I got one. This piece of track that uh, has nowhere else to clip in, I have to come up with a plan. I had some double-sided tape. It wasn't enough, so. I'll uh, glue it or, or I'll find another, maybe a couple more pieces of double-sided tape just get that jammed up there. So, oh yeah, and I put this light up, which hangs on a little pivot. And uh, there's a uh, controller, so I have to go in there because there's no on-off switch for this one. So there you go. It just gives a little bit of ambiance. And I got the uh, one of my cable um, uh, holders up. Cable rack, so I got some of them hanging from here, and it's up a little higher, so it's nicer that they're a bit longer because they're hitting the uh, baseboard down there. But that's fine by me the way it is. I could give them an extra wrap, but I just thought I'd uh, the least creases the better. All right, time for me to shut up and uh, do some work. Talk to you guys later. Bye.